The Satsuma Rebellion. This is Saigo Takamori, seated in a French uniform, surrounded by his officers. The Satsuma Rebellion, also known as the Sinan or Southwestern War, was a revolt of angry samurai against the new imperial government nine years after its establishment. The revolt lasted from January 29, 1877 until September of that year, when it was decisively crushed and Saigo Takamori committed seppuku after being mortally wounded. This was the last and most serious rebellion against the new government of the Empire of Japan. After Saigo Takamori resigned his positions in the imperial government following the debate in 1873 where he wanted to have Japan attack Korea and was refused, he returned to Kagoshima. There, in 1874, he established a private academy to employ all the unemployed samurai in Kagoshima. There were soon 132 branches of the school, all over the prefecture. The training was not just academic. Chinese classics were taught, but all students were also required to take weapons training and instruction in tactics. Saigo also started an artillery school. The schools looked like military academies. They had the support of the governor of Satsuma, who appointed samurai to political offices. These samurai dominated the Kagoshima government. Support for Saigo was so strong that Satsuma had more or less seceded from the central government by the end of 1876. Saigo's academies worried the Tokyo government. They had just dealt with several small but violent revolts in Kyushu, like the Saga Rebellion. They were very worried about maybe having to fight the numerous and fierce Satsuma samurai and the very popular Saigo. In December 1876, a Meiji police officer, Nakahara Hisao, and 57 other men were sent to investigate the trouble. The men were captured and, under torture, confessed that they were spies sent to assassinate Saigo. Nakamura later changed his plea. It was widely believed as justification for angry samurai that a rebellion was necessary to protect Saigo. The Meiji government then sent a warship to Kagoshima to remove the weapons that were stockpiled at the Kagoshima arsenal on January 30th, 1877. This started open fighting. The samurai were already angry with the loss of the rice payments in 1877. Outraged, 50 students from Saigo's academy attacked the Somota arsenal and carried off the weapons. Over the next three days, more than 1,000 students raided the naval yards and other arsenals. With this sudden success, Saigo, even though he didn't really want to, came out of semi-retirement to lead the rebellion. In February 1877, the Meiji government sent Hayashi Tomoyuki from the Home Ministry with Admiral Kawamura Sumiyoshi and the warship Takao to figure out the situation. The Satsuma governor explained that the uprising was a response to the government's assassination attempt on Saigo. He asked that Admiral Kawamura who was Saigo's cousin, come ashore and help calm the situation. After the governor left the ship, many small ships filled with armed men attempted to board Takao by force. They were repelled. The next day, Hayashi declared to the governor that he could not permit Kawamura to go ashore. The attack was seen 
as a declaration of civil war. Here's an image of Imperial troops embarking at Yokohama to fight in the Satsuma Rebellion in 1877. On his return to Kobe on February 12th, Hayashi met with General Yamagata Aritomo and Ito Hirobumi. It was decided that the Imperial Japanese Army would need to be sent to Kagoshima to prevent the revolt from spreading to other areas of the country that were sympathetic to Saigo. On the same day, Saigo met with his lieutenants, Kiryu no Toshiaki and Shinohara Kunimoto, and said that he would march to Tokyo to talk to the government. He rejected to raise large numbers of volunteers and made no attempts to contact other domains for support. No troops were left at Kagoshima to secure his base. To make it appear even more legal, Saigo wore his army uniform. Marching north, he was slowed down by the heaviest snowfall Satsuma had seen for over 50 years. Since this was the same kind of weather that Satsuma troops had at the beginning of the Boshin War, this was seen as a sign of divine support. The Satsuma vanguard crossed into Kumamoto Prefecture on February 14th. The commandant of the castle was Major General Tani Tateki, and he had 3,800 soldiers and 600 policemen. Most of the garrison was from Kyushu, and a large number of his officers were from Kagoshima, so they were not necessarily going to be loyal to him. Instead of risking desertions and defections, Tani decided to stay on the defensive. This is Kumamoto Castle. On February 19th, the first shots of the war were fired as the defenders of Kumamoto Castle opened fire on Satsuma units attempting to force their way into the castle. Kumamoto Castle was built in 1598 and was one of the strongest in Japan, but Saigo was confident that his forces would easily defeat Tani's peasant conscripts. They were still demoralized by the recent Shimpurin Rebellion from October 24th to 25th, 1876 in Kumamoto. The samurai of that area rebelled under the same reasons as the Saiga rebels, but were defeated in just two days. Here is the attack on Major General Teneda Masaki. On February 22nd, the main Satsuma army arrived and attacked Kumamoto Castle in a pincher movement. Fighting went on all night. Imperial forces fell back. Acting Major Nogi Maruseki of the Kokura 14th Regiment lost his regimental colors in fierce fighting. Despite their success, the Satsuma army still failed to take the castle. They began to realize the conscripts were not going to be as easy to defeat as they assumed. After two days of attack with no more progress, the Satsuma forces dug into the rock-hard icy ground and tried to starve the castle out in a long siege. The situation got desperate for the defenders since the supplies of food and ammunition were already low because of a warehouse fire before the battle. During the siege, ex-samurai flocked to Saigo's side and his forces grew to about 20,000 men. In the meantime, the Meiji government stripped Saigo and the other leaders of their official titles. On the night of April 8th, a force from Kumamoto Castle made an attack out of the defenses, forcing open a hole in the Satsuma lines and allowing badly needed supplies to reach the garrison. The main Imperial Army 
under General Kuroda Kiyotaka and General Yamakawa Hiroshi arrived in Kumamoto on April 12th. This forced the new, now heavily outnumbered Satsuma forces to retreat. On March 4th, Imperial Army General Yamagata ordered a frontal assault from Tabarazaka, guarding the approaches to Kumamoto. This image is the Battle of Tabarazaka. Imperial troops are on the left, and rebel samurai troops are on the right. This developed into an eight-day-long battle. Tabarazaka was held by 15,000 samurai from Satsuma, Kumamoto, and Hitoshi, Hitoyoshi against the Imperial Army's 9th Infantry Brigade, which had 90,000 men. At the height of the battle, Sago wrote a private letter to Prince Arisukawa, telling him again his reasons to go to Tokyo. His letter said that he was not committed to rebellion and wanted a peaceful settlement. The government refused to negotiate. Another image of the Battle of Tabaruzaka. In order to cut Saigo off from his base, an imperial force of three warships, 500 policemen, and several companies of infantry landed in Kagoshima on March 8th. here and seized the arsenals and took the Satsuma governor into customer custody. Yamagata also landed a detachment with two infantry brigades and 1,200 policemen behind the rebel lines to attack them from the rear at Yatsuhiro Bay. Imperial forces landed with few losses then pushed north and took the city of Miyonahara on March 19th. After receiving reinforcements, the Imperial force, now numbering 4,000 men, attacked the rear elements of the Satsuma army and drove them back. Tabrozaka was one of the most intense campaigns of the war. Imperial forces won, but both sides suffered more than 4,000 killed or wounded each. After his failure to take Kumamoto, Saigo led his followers on a seven-day march to Hitoyoshi. Morale was extremely low and they lacked any strategy. The Satsuma forces dug in to wait for the next Imperial Army offensive. The Imperial Army was also in the same condition, though. Fighting was suspended for several weeks to permit reinforcement. When the offensive began again, Saigo retreated to Miyazaki, leaving behind many small groups of samurai to make guerrilla attacks. On July 4th, the Imperial Army forced Saigo out of Miyokonojo and then out of Nobioka. Imperial troops were landed at Oita and Sakai, Saiki, north of Saigo's army. Saigo was caught in a pincher attack. Here's an image of Saigo's army clashing with the government's forces. However, the Satsuma army was able to cut its way free from encirclement. By August 17th, the Satsuma army had been reduced to 3,000 troops. It had also lost most of its modern firearms and all of its artillery. The surviving rebels made a stand on the slopes of Mount Inodake and were soon surrounded. Determined not to let the rebels escape again, Yamagata sent a large force which outnumbered the Satsuma army seven to one. 
most of Saigo's remaining forces either surrendered or committed seppuku. Saigo burned his private papers and army uniform on August 19th and escaped towards Kagoshima with the last of his troops. Yamagata tried to catch him over the next few days, but Saigo and his last 500 men reached Kagoshima on September 1st. Then he seized Shiroyama, the mountain that looks down over the city. Saigo and his samurai were pushed back to Kagoshima. The final battle then happened. At the Battle of Shiroyama, Imperial Army troops under the command of General Yamagata Aritomo and Marines under the command of Admiral Kawamura Sumiyoshi outnumbered Saigo 60 to 1. Yamagata was going to leave no chance of escape again. He had troops spend several days digging an elaborate system of ditches, building walls, and putting up obstacles to prevent another breakup. The five government warships in Kagoshima Harbor added their firepower to Yamagata's artillery, and they began to smash the rebel positions. Here is an image of Imperial Japanese Army fortifications encircling Shiroyama. On September 1st, Yamagata sent Saigo a letter asking him to surrender. Saigo refused. Yamagata ordered a full frontal assault on September 24th, 1877. By 6 a.m., only 40 rebels were still alive. Saigo was badly wounded with a bullet in the hip. How he was hit exactly was unknown since there were no surviving wit eyewitnesses. His troops said that he stood up and committed seppuku, stabbing himself in the stomach after he was injured, and had ordered a friend, Beto Shinsuke, to assist in his suicide. Here is an image of Saigo Takamori directing his troops at the Battle of Shiroyama. It was also said that he went into shock after the bullet wound and lost his ability to speak. Other friends then helped him commit suicide and cut off his head, giving him a warrior's suicide. This was so that he could remain known as a true samurai. Saigo's head then disappeared after his death. It was said that a servant hid the head, but an imperial soldier found it later, and the head was brought back to be buried next to his deputies, Kurino and Murata. This was witnessed by the American sea captain, John Hubbard. Another myth says the head was never found. After Saigo's death, Betu and the last of the ex-samurai, drew their swords and charged downhill toward the Imperial Army positions, and to their deaths. This ended the Satsuma Rebellion. The Satsuma Rebellion cost the government a huge amount of money, forcing Japan off the gold standard and causing the government to print paper money. This is an example of the paper money. This is the Saigo Takamori Gunmushu banknote, issued in 1877 to finance his war effort, and this is in the Japan Currency Museum. The rebellion was also was the effective end of the samurai class. The new Japanese army was made of mostly conscripts, regardless of social class. Saigo was labeled a tragic hero by the people, and on February 22, 1889, Emperor Meiji pardoned Saigo posthumously. This is Saigo Takamori.